Hello and thanks for watching Gary Teaches Maths. I'm continuing to go through the Edexcel Higher Tier paper from 2019. This is question 20 and it's a question about proportionality. So we're given this statement that H is inversely proportional to P and also that P is directly proportional to the square root of T. We're also given some conditions here. We're given that H is equal to 10 and T equals 144 when P is equal to 6. So the ultimate aim in this question is to find a formula for H in terms of T. So the first thing we can do is we can try and write these statements about proportionality in mathematical notation. So we're told that H is inversely proportional to P. So what we can do is we can write that and we can say that h and this is the symbol for proportionality and when it says it's inversely proportional it means it's proportional to one over p so that's what the inverse bit means there it means it's inversely proportional to p one over p and the very first thing we do there is we take the proportionality sign we actually want to get rid of that so we would say well if h is proportional to 1 over p we can introduce what's called a constant of proportionality which i'm going to call k and we can say that h then is equal to k times by 1 over p and i can tie that up a little bit if i just multiply the k with the 1 on top of the p and i can say that would mean that h is equal to k over p where k is our constant of proportionality we're then given a uh, condition that when h is equal to 10 p is equal to 6 and what that enables us to do is find the value of k our constant of proportionality so we substitute those values in we substitute in that h is equal to 10 so i can rewrite this uh, equation but with the numbers in place instead say that 10 is equal to k which we don't know what k is yet but we're going to try and find out over the value of p which is 6 and we can rearrange that we can multiply both sides by 6 so if i do that times by 6 and times by 6 6 as will cancel there and it will leave me with 60 on the left hand side so we've got 60 is equal to k so we found the value of k and the next thing we would do with that is we would substitute it back into our equation for h and p but now we do know the value of k and we can replace the value of k by the number so we can see that that would give us that h is equal to 60 over p so that's really the first step in the question we've linked it We've linked h and p but notice what we've got to try and do is we've actually got to link h and t so in order to do that we're going to use our other uh, proportionality which is that p is directly proportional to the square root of t so again if we try and write that in mathematical notation we say well p is proportional and because it's the direct proportion it's not the inverse or one over it's actually just proportional to square root of t and again we're going to immediately get rid of this proportionality sign and we're going to put a constant of proportionality in instead so we're going to say that p is equal to k times square root of t so now we've got an equation and we need to find out what this value of this constant of proportionality is and we're going to do that by substituting in the values of p and t here so we're going to say well if we replace the p by the 6 get 6 equals k what we're trying to find times by the square root of 144 which is the value we're given for t so if we work out what the square root of 144 is we can see that 6 is equal to k times by 12 because 12 is the square root of 144 i'm now going to divide both sides by 12 
So divide by 12 and divide by 12, which I can show as a fraction. And the 12s there will cancel. And it will leave me with 6 over 12 is actually a half if I cancel it down. So I've got that k equals a half. So the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the value of k in this equation here by the value that we've just worked out. So that will give us that p is equal to half times the square root of t. So that's an equation now linking p and t. And I can tidy that up and make it a little bit easier to use. If I just say, well, 1 times t, 1 times root t is root t. And on the bottom line, I'm going to have 2. So that's a bit of a neater way to write this expression here or this equation. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the final part of the question, which is finding a formula for h in terms of t. And that means taking this equation we've got here for p and substituting it into the other one to so replacing p here so if we do that that will give us that h is equal to the 60 we already had over this we can instead of writing p we can write root t over 2 so root t over 2 so we've done it there. We can tidy that up a little bit further because what we've got there is we're saying, well, a fraction means the top divided by the bottom. So we can say, well, that would be 60 divided by root t over 2. And if we divide by a fraction, the method is actually to change the divide into a times and then flip the fact flip the fraction so we we turn it upside down and we get 2 over root 2 and then we can multiply the 60 by the 2 now it's a lot easier we say 60 times 2 is 120 and it's still over root 2 so there we've got it h is equal to 120 over root 2 so i hope that's been helpful if it has, please like our video and subscribe to our channel, which is Gary Teaches Maths. And also, if you like more videos of this type, look at our website, which is bestmathstutors.co.uk. And that should be appearing at the top of the screen just now. OK, thanks for watching.